Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you know. It's your boy, Mr. Mondre, and I'm here with my lady. Shamar Lachey. And this is the Myers Affair. What? The Myers Affair. What? The Myers Affair. Ah! <laughs> Hope everybody's okay. Y'all, it's freezing. Temperature's dropping, as y'all can tell. Let's see. It's cold and mug. I had to go take the trash out. Yeah, because I wanted to be nosy. <laughs> but not really. They had to take trash out. They just happened to be there when I needed to take trash out. I got my car heating up. Go get my kids some medicine. It is freezing, y'all. Like it's it's icy out here. It's uh, temperatures. It's very low. It's like twenty something. It might be below that now. But oh, glasses are fall. But who would be in the house is me. But unfortunately, my two little ones chose to get sick. I cannot see y'all. My glasses have completely went. <laughs> blurry they fall from coming in from the cold into the heat but yeah my two little ones chose to get sick like they chose to get sick right <laughs> but no they're sick yeah um one of the other one, my lala's iron is also low and she bled everywhere last night i was gonna show y'all but i don't think everybody ready for that if you have severely anemic kids that have severely low iron all the time and bleed like crazy where they look like somebody didn't chopped them up you know what I'm talking about if you don't you probably would have freaked out if I'd have recorded that and showed you that so that's why I didn't do that but yeah due to that so I had to get out and it's freezing ice cold or the news just said if you don't need to be in the you have to get out of the house stay in the house don't leave Gotta be a mom, gotta handle my business, gotta take care of my baby. So, I'm going to go and go get everybody some medicine and get the iron tablets on top of that because I ran out. So, we need more. So, I'm going to get that today as well. And I might grab a couple of more things I needed for the house since I gotta be out anyway. And well, it's looking bad. I don't know if it's gonna get better or if it's gonna get worse. So, might as well going to grab a couple of things that I was going to need to get just in case something hits in unexpectedly. I have to put that in back out the house. There's one of them. Hey, what you doing? No, come here. Say hey. <laughs> yeah, hey, I heard him just can't breathe. He's so clogged. It ain't even funny. It's dark. I can't see y'all. I ain't got my lights on my bed, y'all. I just realized it. I'm gonna pay attention. There's the other one. You gonna say hey? Hey. <laughs> yeah, they would feel good. So, anywho, let's let this car finish heating up and get to the freaking store. Right? Right. I can't even turn the camera off because I have gloves on. He won't let me touch it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as the ambulance I showed y'all earlier, by the dumpster, there's actually multiple ambulance. And as we were leaving to come out, I was saying, hey, babe. Sorry. <laughs> as we were leaving to come out, we passed one, two, three, four, five. Five police cars. I didn't. I don't want to record that because I think something has happened really bad and something is going on because people are out there hugging and crying and they questioning people and everything. So you know, I didn't want to get that type of footage out of respect for you know that family, whatever's going on because that looks serious. 
I just hope everything's okay. You know, whatever was going on with it. And if not, my condolences, our condolences to that family because, man, right before Thanksgiving too, like, this is not the time. Well, I'm going to say not the time. This is a terrible time for things like that to happen if that, if, you know, if that is the case if they've lost someone or something like that. So, hoping for the best. But, yeah, that's just a little update on that situation and what we just kind of discovered. So, yeah, we're going to the store real quick and um get some cash flow because we ain't got no cash flow so we gotta go and get some cash flow off the card out stone and we'll see y'all in a minute look y'all we should just be dazed yeah. oh. <laughs> he like this is a bull too it's too cold for this it is let's see it's 28 degrees right now outside but he ain't want wife to go by herself in the cold because cars is turning over and flipping and crashing and they got ice and stuff on the road so there's my superman right there with me get that right back all right <laughs> all right we'll see y'all in a minute okay y'all heard hubby out there <laughs> that's when you go we had to go and fill up our gas because we just realized our gas was low so we went on fill tank up because it's cold don't fill up case we gotta hop in the car, run, go somewhere, get somewhere, something. Ain't got time to be out in the cold, getting gas, so go and fill it up. But this is when, I mean, I was, <laughs> when you, you fill your tank up and then it stop, and then put all your gas in there, so you go out there, you squeeze all the rest over there, because you want to go back and change the two cups. <laughs> That's what he was doing. I saw to get that first pistol with some gas. I, I know, I like it, man. It's $3, Okay, you want it? It's cold, it's so cold. I got Mr. Cappuccino, yo dog. Yo dog. What is that with all together? I was trying to yo. Yo dog. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a new word. Mm-hmm. Yo dog. Hope you got him a little hot dog. You had to go put some on sis. You know, when you able to get away from the kids and get you a little snack, that's how you do it. You gotta do it when you the kids ain't around. Cause if you had the kids, you're gonna go in the store and spend forty five dollars. You buy yourself, you go in there and spend three, four dollars with us together, like six. Boom, get us a little drain. Not that drain, you know, just something to drain. A little snack. We're good to go. Can't do it with kids, so this one we enjoy. We got us some of these, some egg rolls and the, and the pizza rolls. Nope. It ain't good for our die. I don't care. Oh, well. We still drop it away. We still fine. Tell him, babe. Eat a hot dog. <laughs> but yeah, we got that. And so we're going to go on ahead to this good old. Wally World and get this medicine for our baby so they can feel better. So, yeah, see when we get there. Ah. Look what the ooh, let me turn this down. Look what the weather has done to my head. <laughs> it just done shrunk all of y'all. It just look, it done poof so bad now. And ain't, ain't no type of nobody curl, no limb. Oh, it's real. I'm gonna have to redo all my twists again and do a whole nother twist out. Y'all, look at this. See, this is. What happens when you have natural hair? It just, things don't work out as planned all the time. <laughs> but y'all, see, this is why I can't go to where my husband, he didn't have me all over town. We ain't made it to Walmart yet, and we have been to like four stores already. We went to the flea market and got us some incense. Um, as long as I can get up and down here. Boom, look at that. They smell so good, y'all. They smell so bomb. Like, they got my whole car smelling good. Here you go. Come back. What? What? Couldn't get nothing? Nope. Told you that. So, ain't they cheaper at the other one? I'm about to go to the other one. She knew there. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't know. Like the flavor of the day, ain't even posted yet. Oh, Lord. I hate when they put new people in a place by themselves. Like, why do jobs do that? Like, they need to be one person there to train that person, to help that person know everything. Because when you got customers that frequent your spot, and then you get new employees that don't know nothing, and then you come in and you know what you're trying to do and try to get the employee like, That's so frustrating. Like, y'all need to have at least one person there with them to help them learn everything they need to know. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so now we're about to, we heading to Walmart now? Yeah, we're going to Walmart. Now we're going to head to Walmart. I had to stop by Taco Bell, y'all. I don't even know it's cold. I'm in my one of these and they got it. Uh, that could be a good thumbnail. <laughs> this is a um, strawberry freeze. Skittles. Hmm. Skittles. It's 
Skittles? Yep. Strawberry Skittles? Wow. Strawberry Skittles is good. It's so good. Like, I drank the cappuccino, y'all. I was so high. I'm like, I need something cold now. Because I just feel too high. So, let's buy Taco Bell. So, yeah. I don't like to stay $2. It's $2.49 because I'm cheap. And I'm just like, I go to McDonald's get a giant cup. But I ain't want to pop. So, here we are today. You stink over there. You a song, see? I said I gotta use the bathroom. I know, know I know you. Right I know you. So I know why you gotta use the bathroom. Uh, What letter is that, Amar? Hmm? What letter is that up there? That is D, F, C. Well, you see, she's slow. Y'all see she, what letters that say. That is C. That is not a C. That is a C. That is a G. Mama, see, you need to go back to school. Mm -hmm. your and that's why she's Mama. the one sitting here Mama. in the seat. Because she can't see. And that's why I can see. And I can see that that's a G and not a C. It's, he don't know, he just agreeing with you. Shh, too loud. Get down, come back over this way. Come on. Say hello. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm going to I'm going to y'all on. Y'all finish your ice cream. Let me know when y'all done, okay, so I get them bowls. Okay. All right. Okay. Love you too. Ooh, it's dark, y'all. Hold on, let me get some light on. Wrong one. Okay. Let me turn this. This is real life. Do y'all see? You see this? Look, head rough, everything. Like, real life. So, I have three, six, six. <laughs> three sick kids. My bad, it's my shirt. So, the day before. Thanksgiving. That's, that's what I have. I'm just getting over my abscess. It's still kind of there, but as you can see, it's what I keep looking off. I'm sorry, y'all. As you can see, it's way, way better. I have a fog on my camera, like, and I don't know why. Hold on real quick, y'all. There we go. Much, much better. I was like, I don't know what was going on. Okay, I had to clean it off, but... Oh, yes, I have three sick kids the day before Thanksgiving. They have been puking and running fevers and boo-booing everywhere. Literally <laughs> everywhere. I'm like, man, as soon as I'm able to get up and move around and start getting myself back in order, here we go. Here, here we go. So, no, it's not cute. It's not pretty. This is life. This is life as a mom. Like, this is real life as a mom. Things like this can happen. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I've been sick the whole time. I'm finally getting better. And now all three of my kids are sick. So, I just finished bathing them. I didn't record all of that because I was just like, 
woke up out of my sleep and they had an accident and I just had to get up and get it done so I'm starting here but I got everything done got sheets pulled I got the laundry going y'all can't hear it I stopped it because it'd be really loud in the background so I paused it while I do this but got the laundry going I got new sheets on everybody bed got everybody bathed I just finished rubbing them down with Vicks gave them some medicine and they're in their beds and they asked for ice cream so what you say what you say Okay, I'll come get it in a minute. I'm done with the ice cream. But yeah, as I was saying, y'all, my phone cut out on me. I ran out of space, so I had to upload some stuff. Um, Mold is, is gone. I just had her sent to her doctor. I had my uh, mom came and got her for me and took her since the other two. I don't want to get out the house. But I'm waiting to see what her results are because we think that she may have strep unfortunately so I've been through this because the law ended up having it for her fifth birthday and so we had to quarantine her at home she couldn't have her own party I had to cancel her party because she had it and so I already know the process and the routine so I'm like I'm gonna have so I'm gonna have to quarantine her for Thanksgiving <laughs> like here you go here's your plate in your room don't Ooh, okay yeah my bad I had to go and transfer everything because my phone was just kept running out of space but I forgot where I left off. I think it was about my daughter, my oldest. I think so. Yeah, so I'm waiting on her to call to see what her results are. She's at the doctor. I'm going to have my mom take her and she's getting tested for strep. And if it's not strep, to see what's going on with her because her throat is like extremely red. It's like hurting real bad. Her, um, I'm not even going to attempt to say it because I don't even know right now what it's called. But y'all know like when you open your mouth, the little ball that hangs back in the back of your throat. Yeah, that's like really swollen and inflamed. And so she's doing bad. And she's running a fever and just like she was so hot last night. I had to turn get up and turn the air on. And look, I didn't want and escaped. Yes. You cold? Get under your cover. And turn up. Do y'all have y'all fan on? In your room? Yeah. Okay, turn it off. Yeah, so they've been going they've been going back and forth like this. Like one minute they hot, they want me to turn her on, next minute they cold, they want me to turn the heat on. I'm just like, my electric bill gonna be sky high. <laughs> Cause we can't get it together. So yeah, go lay down, mommy. You need to be still. I'll get you some. Just go lay down. So y'all need to keep moving. Don't you really, dude? You just came here to get in video. Go lay down. See, this is why kids stay sick because they can't be still. They don't want to be sick. They want to play like they're not sick. But as like, you see him cheesing, look, see, go lay down. As you see him laughing and cheesing, give him ten minutes. He'll be in the middle of my floor throwing up because he won't be still. Like in the other one. They all anemic, we're all anemic, but she even have her irons been really low, so she been bleeding, just bleeding like crazy, so I'm trying to keep her still too, because, you know, she just don't want to be, but anywho, I done got off subject. I waiting on her results though, this one, so I don't want to make this video too, too long, because I honestly don't know how long I've been recording right now, so I'm going to come back to y'all when I find out the results. Yeah, so... One tired mommy here. I'm hoping hubby comes home. They're trying to convince their boss to let him come home early. So <laughs> I'm hoping because I'm like, babe, I'm, I know I'm so strong. I know I'm always strong, but I just need, I, I need you right now. Like I just, I need a break. I need if I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> but yes, I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful pre-Thanksgiving day. What are y'all cooking? What do y'all have out? We're gonna, well... Yeah, I might as well say we're gonna fix this up. Hubby was gonna fix it because as y'all know I had been down and out and I was like I'm tired of not doing nothing. It's a whole story behind it. It wasn't just to do with my mouth. It was a lot. It's the holidays y'all. When holidays hit me and I think about how holidays used to be with my grandmother and my uncle and everybody and they've passed on. That's a whole nother video. I'm not getting into it right now. But it hit me and I was just like I just don't want to do nothing. Like I, I want to do it for my kids but I'm tired. Like, I'm drained. I'm emotional. I can't. So, he was going to do it. So, he's grabbing um, some stuff. And 
because I'm feeling a little better, he's wanting me to help him. So more than likely, I will be up helping him. And y'all will see all of that in our next video. So we love y'all. That'll be in the Thanksgiving vlog. I'm pretty sure this video is pretty long because we've been vlogging like crazy and haven't been posted. So I'm kind of going to add the last few days. I'm going to try to make the last few days into one video. So yeah, let me cut this out for it be forever. I love y'all. Bye-bye. I will come back and tell y'all the results when I hear from her. Quick update. She's back home. She has strep. Which we already, I already knew. Like, y'all. I already knew. I'm so tired. I ain't funny, y'all. Y'all just won't believe the amount of laundry and cleaning throw up I have had to do since the last time. I recorded for y'all, which in this video would be like the last clip, but for me it would be like two hours ago. <laughs> but, yeah. It's where you, um, just put some water and put chicken, the, uh, broth. <sighs> okay, uh, I had to tell my oldest how to make her some, uh, chicken broth, because... She can't do eat nothing else. All she can have is broth or soup. And for some reason, she sent her our chicken noodle soup. And I swear we're not. And my hubby says we're not. But I don't even feel like looking because y'all not understanding the day that I'm having today. And I told her I'm not going above and beyond for her because she's hard headed. And she's the reason that she's sick. I told her she was going to be sick because she don't listen. She wanted to day, you know, y'all know these young girls that want to go out be cute for school. It's 23 degrees outside. You got on short sleeve shirt. Who does that? And you got a closet full of long sleeves. Told her. She don't listen. Told her she was going to get sick. And when she did, she was on her own. Real life hitting her. So she frustrated. Because she got to make it herself. But yes. <laughs> Back to the point of hand. I'm tired. I'm taking a break. And I'm hoping they let her be off early. Because sister girl is woe out. And I got to get up. Excuse me, when he gets here and help him cook. So, yeah, I hope this ain't too dark for y'all. I'm in my room and I don't even want to turn on no light, y'all, because I got a slight headache. This is what I'm trying to do, y'all. See that? I was trying to come here and take a break after I got everybody situated and everything clean and lay by my fireplace until time to get up when he gets home and help him. But that's not happening. It's just not happening. What is life right now? Let's get rich and buy our parents' home and discover friends. Let's get rich and get.